Welcome to another survivor tip video. The tip of this video is don't waste your speed boost. Now if you're wondering right now, what do I mean by don't waste your speed boost? Well, let me tell you. In the game, when the killer hits you, you get a speed boost. And this speed boost is pretty significant and allows you to cover a lot of distance in a short amount of time. The purpose of this speed boost is to give you a chance to escape the killer before downing you. And I see a lot of survivors waste their speed boost and as a result it gets them killed. If you learn how to utilize this speed boost in order to prolong a chase or lose the killer, you greatly increase your chances of survival. So what actions waste your speed boost? Any interaction in the game will waste your speed boost. And by waste your speed boost, I mean you will not get to utilize that speed boost at all. It will be 100% gone. It will be like you're running normal and you will not get that extra distance on the killer. So, throwing down a pallet the moment you get hit or after you get hit will waste your speed boost. Fast vaulting anything will waste your speed boost, so fast vaulting a window or pallet. If you decide for some reason to fast vault in and out of a locker like this Claudette here, that will waste your speed boost as well. If you stop to heal, if you stop to do a gen, those will also waste your speed boost. If you get hit while you are unhooking somebody, you will not get that speed boost. Now, the most common way I see survivors waste their speed boost is by throwing the pallet immediately after they've been hit or jumping a window. Those are the two most common ways the speed boost is wasted. Now I'm gonna show a few examples of survivors wasting their speed boosts in these ways. Now, the other way you can waste your speed boost is by running into objects. If the killer hits you and you immediately run into a wall or a rock or a tree and you don't move around it fast enough, it will completely waste your speed boost. So that is why it's really important to know what's around you at the second you get hit. Now on to the correct way of using your speed boost. So, if you know that you are going to get hit, just accept the fact that you are going to get hit and start planning out the route you are going to go when you get that speed boost. If there is a pallet next to you, do not throw it. If there is a window, do not go through it. What you want to do is get to another area away from the killer. So this means going to a different jungle gym, go to a different pallet loop, go to a different building. Just get into a different area from the one you are currently in. This is the best way to utilize a speed boost because the speed boost is meant to create distance between you and the killer. And if you can get into a new area that you have not been running the killer through, then it will be a lot better for you. You have to keep calm, just know the killer is going to hit you, and that you will gain a burst of speed. And with this burst of speed, you can get away from the killer. Now let me show a few examples from my games of how I've utilized my speed boost to at least prolong a chase or lose the killer. So in this first example, I'm being chased by a leather face and I get stuck on a prop for a second as I'm going around this loop here and I know he's gonna hit me. So I let him hit me and then I immediately run to the pallet loop that is farther away from me rather than sticking to the one I was already at. This allows me to keep that pallet for future use and it gets me into a different area. Which means that I will be able to take him to another area more easily after I use this pallet. So that is an example of using your speed boost to prolong a chase.
in this next example here, a hag hits me and I use the speed boost to get to a completely different area. I think about stopping at the pal loop for a second, but then I just keep on running because I'm trying to get the hag as far as possible from both of the exit gates and the basement in case my team wants to go for the save. Because if I take the hag away from the basement, she won't be able to immediately teleport back to her trap. Now I mind game her at the window jungle gym and then I turn around backtrack my steps towards an exit gate to successfully escape her and get away. Unfortunately, the other guy does not go for the save, but I don't blame him because it's a hag. And then here I'm playing a Claudette. I'm hoping he would chase the person he just hit, but he doesn't, he hits me. I use half of the speed boost because I wasted some of it there in the tree. But even with just half of the speed boost, I'm able to get to the jungle gym before he can, and then I manage to get a stun, and I'm able to go to the next jungle gym while he breaks the pallet. Then here, I mind game him by looking like I go for that window, so he tries to cut me off. But I go for the other window instead to activate lies, and then I use that lies to try and get to the next pallet loop. Now there, I'm not sure what happened, but somehow, the killer loses me. And I am able to safely heal and get away. Then later in the same match, Freddy hits me as I get close to a pallet, and instead of throwing the pallet, I just run straight. This is what you want to do in this situation. You do not want to throw the pallet because it will waste your speed boost and you will not be able to escape the killer. So quick recap. If you think the killer is going to hit you, do not throw the pallet or jump the window because this will waste your speed boost. If the killer is going to hit you, let them hit you. This way you get the full use of your speed boost and you will be able to escape the killer completely or you will be able to get to a safer area where you can prolong the chase and allow your team more time to complete generators. Just pay attention to what's around you and you will not waste your speed boost when you get hit. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and as always, good luck out there in the fog and see you next time.